Hello Aquarius, this is Renee and welcome back. Aquarius, this is going to be your March 2023 reading, March 1st through the 15th. Okay, let's take a look at your energies. Okay, we have denial. I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. Okay, at the bottom we have patience. I accept that everything happens in divine order. So there may be some kind of situation that you need patience in. Some kind of situation you may not be fully aware of. Something that you need some more understanding on. Um, but I, I'm feeling like you don't have all the answers and you're in search of the answers. Okay. Um, let's get some more energy for Aquarius. We have listened deeply. There's something that you need to pay attention to, Aquarius. There's something that you need to really like stand back and observe. Because something is going on that's like leaving you in the dark. And there's something that you need to really find out and be aware of. Something needs to be cleared something needs to be released we have clear cancel and release okay so in march i feel like there's something that is going on in your situation that you are not fully aware of this is a general reading so this could be in love and career finances or in your life in general okay um but there's something that you need to be more aware of We also have the end of a tough cycle approaches. Full moon in Capricorn. I really feel like, you know, this is something that's going to happen. This cycle is going to end after this energy is cleared because we have adjustments are required. So after these adjustments are made, after this is after you come into this awareness and this is cleared from your energy i feel like that's when your tough cycle is going to end it's going to you know like start something new or different is what i'm getting okay um let's get some tarot for aquarius Spirit, give me a message for Aquarius from March 1st through the 15th. Okay, we have the Four of Cups. So there's something that you're really thinking about. There's some kind of situation you're definitely walking away from. Um, it could be some kind of betrayal, some kind of dishonesty. Something that you aren't fully aware of, but I feel like you're taking time to observe sit back and notice okay you, you may not have even seen this start i feel like it started right underneath your nose you know um but someone's being dishonest someone is betraying you in some way someone's trying to get over on aquarius in some way and I feel like you're clearing away that energy. You're like walking away from this. Yeah, it's some kind of toxic energy. It's some kind of thing that kind of has you tied down, binded. Some kind of obsession that someone may have with you is what I'm getting for some of you. But this is negative energy. And I feel like it's kind of pushing towards the toxic type um for some of you this may be a capricorn but i feel like you know once you release this energy you're like moving into this healing you have the need to find your balance to find your uh stability okay um you're just looking for harmony in the situation and I feel like with this temperance card, you know, usually when we have the temperance card and the devil, this is like, think about it like 
when you have like the devil on one shoulder and the angel on another and they're like doing this tug of war you know i want to do this i want to do that i want to do this i want to do that you know i feel like you're kind of being tugged back and forth and i don't necessarily feel like this devil energy is yours and i i feel like you are trying to gain your balance in the situation okay um yeah you're trying to settle your emotions you're trying to find some kind of support some kind of healing in the situation what i'm also getting with this queen of cups is you are trying to heal this devil energy you're trying to heal this supported you're trying to support this devil energy this devil energy may be a person that's close to you and I feel like you're trying to nurture it. You're trying to change somebody to kind of fit your mold. And, you know, Aquarius, as much as I want to say that works, it hardly ever does. You can't change someone else's experiences, the way they act. You can't change someone else's emotions. Okay. So I, I feel like you're that I feel like that's the reason why I felt that tug of war with the devil and the temperance, because I feel like that's a losing battle. We have that tug of war. Okay. I'm trying to fix this. Okay. I'm trying to fix that. I, I feel like you're like having this tug of war with this person and it is there. There's no win in it. You can't fix somebody. You can't make someone be a certain way. Okay? You can't change them. They have to want to change for themselves. Okay? So that's what I'm getting, Aquarius. Very specific energy. That message is for somebody. Okay? We have the uh, Seven of Cups. So yeah, whatever this material is, I feel like they're they're very deceitful they they're offering you an illusion they may be telling you one thing but they're doing another okay so and i feel like whatever the situation is it's all an illusion it's all something made up in their mind we also have the tower so yeah something's got to give in the situation some kind of ending needs to be cleared and needs to be released. Okay, something's going to fall, Aquarius, because it's just not built on solid ground. It's not thriving. It's built on a lie. So I, I feel like this tower, when it does collapse, I feel like it's a blessing in disguise because it's not real. Whatever this is, it's not real. And I feel like you're you're going to come to this awareness. But you may currently be in denial about the situation. You may be trying very hard to make this work. But Aquarius, you know, you're, you're going to come to the answers that you need. I can't tell you what to do in your situation. I can just give you advice. And let you know what the cards are telling me. But I feel like you need to speak your truth. You need to be honest with yourself as well as with everyone else. Okay? This is energy that you can't fix. We have the Ten of Swords. This energy is not meant to last we also have the five of swords this is conflict and chaos this is someone you know really like offering you an an impossible gift they're not offering you something real they're like offering you this gift that's gonna break your heart 
okay and you need to protect yourself you need to protect your feelings protect your belongings because i feel like whatever this is this person is out to really betray you i'm going to leave it at that they're out to betray you okay we have the nine of swords energy so i really feel like this energy these are maybe the situations that you have been through in the past. You're being surrounded by those situations. You may be repeating cycles with the same type of person or going back and forth with the same person because they're telling you that they're changing. They're telling you that things will be different, that, you know, this time it'll work out. But... Aquarius, you're still surrounded by those past lessons. You're still blinded by what the future may bring because the past is lingering around you. Okay? Very, wow. We have the emperor in reverse. So I feel like this emperor in reverse, you're, you're trying to gain control of this situation when it cannot be controlled, okay? Um, this is just something that is just done and over with. It's just, it's time to let it go. It's something that needs to be released so that it will help you gain what you need for the future okay um it's for your greater good you know um spirit is letting you know to have faith in yourself have faith in your actions and your belongings in you know the things that you hold valuable and it's time to move in a different direction it's time to follow a different path. Okay. Um, wow. Spirit. <clears throat> give me a message for Aquarius. I feel like we've already heard so many challenges of this situation. Um, but what is a challenge that... Aquarius is going to be going through. What what advice do you have for that challenge? For Aquarius. We have the Six of Cups. So not relying on the feelings of the past. Don't try to drift off in what this relationship used to be or how this person used to make you feel. Um, I feel like in a way, you're kind of living in the past, Aquarius. So it's time to move your energy away from that past energy of being nostalgic. You know, um, yeah, we have the Eight of Swords again. It's time to set your boundaries. Set your boundaries and cut the cord. Okay? If you notice, you know, he's cutting the cord. He's releasing her out of this bondage. So I feel like it's time for you to cut the cord. Okay? And it's time for you to make a very hard decision. You may currently be at a crossroads, Aquarius. But I feel like the decisions are going to become more clear as you move along through this process in March. Um, as March goes through, it's going to be more clarifying this is march 1st through the 15th so this is going to transpire sometime during that time so i feel like it's all going to become more clear you're going to be able to see things for what they are you're going to maybe pour out your emotions to this person but i feel like this person has no emotions to show you okay hmm. Oh, yeah, we have the Four of Pentacles again. We have a lot of clarifying cards. We have the Four of Cups twice. We have the Eight of Swords twice. 
Um, we have the Four of Pentacles twice. So definitely Spirit is letting you know to protect yourself. Protect yourself. Protect what it is that you love. You know? You, there, there is something better for you to create. You deserve something better to create. Okay? This is now where your energy should go. Okay, let's get some angel cards for Aquarius. Let's get some angel cards for Aquarius. Okay, we have facing fear. A major spiritual change is unfolding. This is your chance to soar. Okay, and we have Archangel Michael trusting heaven. You are safe. Angels, stand close, surrender your concerns, and allow a miracle to occur. So you have protection, Aquarius. You have a uh, spirit looking over your shoulder, you know, protecting you during this time. We also have Dharma unfolding. So remember that you are on a path. Take one step at a time to happiness. Okay? And I feel like you do have that ability. You definitely do have that ability, Aquarius. Okay? Um, let's see. We're going to get another oracle card for you. Okay. We have vulnerability and freedom. So I, I feel like you may be very vulnerable at the moment. You may be putting wearing your sleeve your your feelings on your sleeve you know but and i feel like with this tower coming out i feel like there is freedom behind this tower moment so i i do feel like you do have the ability to free yourself from this and see we have clear cancel and release again so spirit is just clarifying that you know, this needs to be cleared from your energy before you can move forward. Okay? Um, let's get a manifestation analogy for Aquarius. We have new moon in Cancer. Relax. Spirit has your back. You have your protection. Okay? Um... Look at your inner guidance. Listen to your intuition and follow it. You know, trust in yourself, Aquarius. We also have new moon in Leo. Leo energy. You have the strength. And new moon in Leo, shine. Show the world your true self. You know, um, you have the ability to create your own happiness. The thing is to push through any insecurities and you can find your own happiness okay Whew, Aquarius Aquarius this is your reading so if this reading resonates please like and subscribe hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads and take a look at your sun moon and rising for more clarity on your situation and um, I should have all the other readings up um, by the middle of this week, I think. But until your next reading, Aquarius, many blessings to you. Love and light.